Mikala, got your message and completely makes sense and, and like kudos on having some consistency with your training lately. Um, two things. One thing I've learned is to never ever rely on someone to push you. There's a reason why. As soon as that person leaves, moves away, um, timetable changes, eventually it's, it's going to happen. Then you're stuck and you'll be relying on that crutch for the rest of your life, always relying on someone to push you. Even if it's just once a week, teach yourself to push yourself. So that again, you never have to ever rely on someone else. I think it's deadly when you start relying on, and I'm just talking from experience, because I used to always train by myself, always. And then right around about four, four, three years ago, I used to um, have a couple of friends that trained with me. We trained like four times per week. I started relying on them. And as soon as their motivation and willpower and, and determination slipped, so did mine. And I forgot how to push myself and how to just front up regardless of whether anyone's there with me or not. And it's taken me a good year or two to get back into the swing of just going to the gym by myself and just relying on myself and having my own self accountability, so to speak. So again, I'm not saying stop straight away and, and don't rely on anyone, but just maybe just once a week, just teach yourself to push your own self. Second thing, have you ever thought about maybe just selling the gym equipment so that you just don't feel guilty? I mean, use that money, put it towards the next month payment of group training or put it towards buying some new fitness clothes or put it towards some sort of equipment that does get you excited about training. Just food for thought. Hope that was helpful. We'll talk soon.